We have new information about the death of baby Renzi McCall. Court documents show what authorities say happened while she was in the care of Savannah Miller. Miller is charged with the death of the four-month-old, and investigators say she told them what happened last Saturday night when Renzi died. She reportedly told Reed City Police she had been drinking and that a series of accidents led to the little girl's death. Their tenure side's Callie Lichter joins us from the newsroom. And Callie, what do we know about these incidents? Elena Juliet, Miller told officials she did not intentionally hurt Renzi, but Miller's family tells us she has a history of violence. Savannah Marie Miller said the entire night she was watching four-month-old Renzi McCall is blurry, according to court documents obtained by 13 on your side. She doesn't remember it chronologically, but Miller told the Reed City Police Department that Renzi's injuries were attributed to four accidents. Falling off a tall bed twice, hitting Renzi's head on a sharp edge in the hallway while walking with her, and Renzi falling off a countertop while Miller made eggs. But Miller's sister says that Renzi's injuries were no accident. She's saying that, um, you know, the injuries that were caused to baby Renzi were accidental, which doesn't add up. Desiree Gilbert cut off her sister four years ago after she says she hit her son and hasn't seen her in two years. I was pregnant with my fourth son and she got irate and got up into my face and threatened to beat me and killed my baby inside of me. The night that Miller watched Renzi, documents reveal she door dashed 10 fireball shooters, finishing at least eight of them days after celebrating four months sober. Renzi's mother, Amber McCall, and Miller met in a rehab facility where Gilbert says she was there for alcohol abuse. She is claiming that she has a low tolerance to alcohol, um, which is not true completely not true. Officials say Miller was going to call 911, but knew she was intoxicated and would probably get in trouble. She admitted to officials that she was home alone with the baby. She was the one who chose to drink alcohol, and she was the one that is responsible for Renzi's injuries unintentionally. In an interview with 13 on Your Side Thursday, Renzi's grandpa Jeremiah White said it will be hard to process Miller's actions. How I get my child to wrap her mind around that, I really don't know. And we're going to have to work real hard at that. A co-worker who drove McCall home that night told officials that Renzi was happy and smiling before they left for work. A GoFundMe for the McCall family has raised more than $7,500. You can find that link on our website, 13onyourside.com. In the newsroom, I'm Kelly Lichter, 13 on your side.